reasonable feedback from Nigerians, not what he's hearing in Villa, where he's locked up. <laughs> Fayemi addresses APC chairman Ganjide. Uh, Femi, a former chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, made the appeal during the uh, public launch of a book titled APC and Transition Polities, anchored by a former national vice chairman, Northwest, of the APC, Lukman, on Tuesday in Abuja. He says, see, you people are deceiving yourself. You have to tell the president what is happening in the country. Not be the one when we say he did locked up in the Asu Villa. Now we just carry come tell him waiting and like. But that is not the real thing that is going on in the country. There are so many crises. Nigerians are going through here. You know, this is what all these people do. During President Muhammad Buhari's tenure, that is what they do. They hate those people. They will not tell the president the real thing. Because I don't, I don't just know why. You won't get favored by not telling the person the real truth. You see, say, the person not to do the real thing. You go on, make you please him. Say that when he talk because he's your principal. Now he'll be the best. Just they do for the follow the goal. This is not helping Nigeria. And it's not going to help us until we stop all this pretense and face this situation the way it is. You understand? Make we even hit the news. And get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The former governor of Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi, has asked the All Progressive Congress APC Party, led by the national chairman, Adulai Ganjudi, to relate to President Bola Tinubu the true state of affairs and feedback from Nigerians and not the information he gets in the Aso Villa. Fayemi, a former chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, made the FP during the public launch of a book titled APC and Transition Politics, anchored by a former national vice chairman, Northwest, of the APC, Saliu Lukman, on Tuesday in Abuja. The event attracted prominent leaders of the APC, including Ganjude, the former APC national chairman, Adam Sushomale, and Chief B.C. Akinde, representative of the former Vice President, Professor Yemi Usibanjo, and that of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Habas. The National Working Committee, NWC, members, and many others, daily trust reports. Many Nigerians have lamented some of the policies introduced by the Tunubu administration, including the removal of fuel subsidy, which had caused more hardship, hunger, and pains in the land. Fayemi said, I am happy that our chairman is here. This is the party that should not be a, a, a spectator in policy making. This party should be the one to protect the manifesto of the party. This party should be the one to tell Mr. President that this is the feedback from the communities and constituencies out there, not what he's hearing in the villa where he's locked up. All of us have occupied public office and we know how it can be. I am happy our chairman has confirmed he has read the book. It should be a compulsory read for all members of the NWC and executive of the states and world levels so that we can begin to we can begin the rebuilding process of our origin party to which I believe Dr. Adulai Umar Ganjuri is committed. In his remark, Ganjude said the APC needs to be well structured and repositioned to serve the interests of the masses. He said it is important to document issues. APC is a political party, it is a ruling party, it is an institution which should be well structured and repositioned, whereby it serves a two way traffic. First, as an institution that is in charge of recruitment of appoint, appointive and elective officials and also as an institution that is concerned about the implementation of the party's manifesto from the world level to the national level. And it is an institution that must answer 
to the demands of the people in order to be transmitted to the ruling government for implementation. At the same time, it is an institution that were explained and enlightened members of the public about the achievement of the ruling party. Okay. Let him know that his policies and government is anti mass anti mass Nigerians are uh, are hungry. They don't need to give him feedback because they know they can rig election anytime it happens. The only thing that we save Nigeria is protest and government never wants it to happen. That is why they can lie so much to keep it going. You see, it is news, but not real life. The president is one of us because before his present opportunity, he understand Nigeria and not smiling and bleeding in comfort of poverty. Therefore, he should fulfill his campaign promises. Nothing more. You are the same. You supported him, knowing full well he will be locked up. Why complaining? Locked up in the villa, that's one eh? he gets us a B. The chief of staff won't like this statement anyway. Who is locking him up? If he decides to choose what he hears, that is his own cup of tea. A country where politicians only see and say the truth when they are not in power. None anywhere near the corridors of power. That one, another one too. These are reactions from Nigerians too. Uh -huh. I bet what's when I get to talk concerning this, make we hear. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.